Hello everyone, we are Team by Tenring Driver. Today we are going to introduce our research on supporting interactive data management over a read-only data store. So suppose there's an RMDB dataset with more than 800 million of rows. To store this dataset, a group of customers choose Hadoop as their distributed file system. Among those attributes, some cells in growth need to be changed dynamically since some movies are still showing in theater. So in this scenario, is there a way to efficiently modify this data set? Our project aims to support interactive data management over a read-only data store. In specific, we are going to explore how to integrate Hadoop with existing data spread project. To solve the problem, we have two major insights. The first one we call, we assume that user only looks at a small portion of data. Secondly, the updates manually done by the user are very small. And basically, we have four milestones listed. The complete ones are highlighted in red. For the first one, we will simply show our architecture design with explanations and a graph. For the second one, we will present a demo of our system. So here is the uh, basic design. You can see here, customers can use a load button to read data from Hadoop uh, and display them in our data spread front end. Whenever users modify any cells of data, our data spread backend will restore um, uh, will store corresponding changes as a row column value format. You can see here. And next time when users reopen the Hadoop file through our sys software, we can retrieve the these changes they made before and present the modified file in front end. This is how we integrate integrate Hadoop with data spread. And we have two approaches. First of all, to support read from Hadoop into a data spread, we leverage window function to improve reading performance and positional indexing to improve uploading performance. By using data spread window function, we only load data which can be presented in current window size so that users may not meet a huge lag when loading the data at the first time. In addition, we adaptively create partial index for Hadoop and build a new layer of type mapping to match positional index in data spread so that we can choose any lines of Hadoop file to present. Secondly, to support restore changes from data spread to Hadoop, we load all changes which belongs to current window into memory. When users scroll up and down, we continually store changes into memory. It is very fast due to in-memory operations that only requires a few memory space since user, users may not view all data. Finally, uh, we have some results for now. So by creating indexed file in Hadoop, we can access and get any lines of code uh, and files and data in Hadoop within a small amount of time. By testing on the VM, we show that the reading time is constant as the growth of number of lines fetch and will not be affected by the starting position. Um, and at the end, we will uh, demo some output from our system. We use the IMDB 5000 dataset as our, in, uh, as our sample dataset, and we have replicated this dataset multiple times. So there, in our sample dataset, there are actually more than 10 million rows of data. We have uh, already successfully uh, put, put the dataset into our Hadoop data file system, and I will show you how to access multiple lines in the dataset quick, quickly and efficiently. So we have done the index file uh, already. Now, if, for example, if I want to read the number 10 million rows of the file, then uh, we use this command. The first one is the start line. The last one is the end line. So it will show, it will show the data uh, quickly. And uh, here is the ID of the data. Uh, so you can see there is an off by, off by one arrow. That is because the first line of the data file is actually the header, so it will be it will have an offset of uh, of one. Then if we show the two hundred lines, then our program will uh, read the two hundred lines qu also quickly. Thanks.